I'm Trina and this is monthly recommendations for March. All the information about the monthly monthly all the information about the monthly recommendations group is going to be down in the description bar if you would like to know more. And this month our topic was a group vote topic and the topic that had the vast majority of votes was standalones. Now down below I will have a link to the page in our group where everybody else comes along and shares their recommendations. So if you want more than the books that I'm recommending today, definitely check out the recommendations by the rest of the group members. I've got a ton of standalone novels that I really genuinely want to recommend to you guys. So what I did was I actually created a shelf on Goodreads of every standalone book I've read since I've had my Goodreads account. If you want to see more than just the books I'm recommending today, including the ones that I didn't like but you may like them, then I'll put a link to that down in the description box too. I do have several recommendations in this video so I'm going to move through these pretty quickly and I did break this down by genre to better help you find a book that you might be interested in. I'm not including classics or graphic novels or short story collections or nonfiction books because those tend to be standalones already. But let's start out with fantasy. I've got two fantasy recommendations. The first one is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is an adult novel about two rival magicians that is beautifully written. And the second one is The Siren by Kira Cass, which is a kind of new adultish age range. It's about a siren that falls in love with a human and why they can't be together. Next, the genre of retellings. If you like retellings that stay really close and really true to the original source material but just expand upon that world a lot, I would recommend Mermaid by Carolyn Turgeon, which is of course a retelling of The Little Mermaid. If you want a retelling of a really popular fairy tale that does it in a completely different way, I would suggest Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, which is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which is a really dark fantasy set in a really weird type world, but I really enjoy enjoyed it. If you're looking for a retelling of a not so commonly known fairy tale, I would recommend Toads and Diamonds by Heather Tomlinson, which is a retelling of a French fairy tale called Diamonds and Toads, about two sisters who have been blessed and cursed with the gift of either diamonds or toads falling out of their mouth every time they speak. Next, for science fiction, I would recommend The Martian by Andy Weir, an adult novel about an astronaut who gets stranded on Mars and has to survive. Noggin by John Corey Whaley, which is about a boy who was sick with cancer and he volunteered to have his head cryogenically frozen. He wakes up five years later when this technology has advanced enough to give him a brand new body and he is struggling with his identity of who he was and who he is now five years later when the rest of his friends and family have aged five years without him. The Future of Us by Jay Asher and Carolyn Mackler. I've talked about this book a bit recently. It's set in the 90s about two teenagers who, when they first get internet access, they have a glimpse into their future social media profiles. Lots of 90s nostalgia and tons of social media humor. If you like historical books, I would recommend A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis, which is about a patient in a mental institution that teams up with a doctor to solve a mystery of a serial killer that's on the loose. Then there's 112263 by Stephen King, which is an adult science fiction novel about time travel, about a guy that travels back in time to the 60s to try and stop the JFK assassination. If you like the horror genre or scary books, I would recommend World War Z by Max Brooks, which is a zombie apocalypse story that feels scarily real. 172 Hours on the Moon by Johann Harstad, which is a YA book about three teens that get the chance to go to space and stay on the moon for a while and creepy stuff starts happening on the moon. And the final genre I want to talk about is contemporary. Contemporaries do tend to usually be standalones, but I do want to talk about a few of my favorites. I really love Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan, which is about a girl who has survived the sinking of a cruise ship and the other survivors are lying about what really happened, so she sets out to seek her revenge on them. Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver is a great contemporary YA book about a mean girl in high school who has a near brush with death that causes her to relive the same day over and over and dives into what she learns about herself and all the different actions she could take throughout the course of a single day. I really loved I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. It's about two twins that have had a falling out in the past and you hear the story throughout the past and the present day to find out what that event was. The Vanishing Season by Jody Lynn Anderson, which is a beautifully atmospheric book about a girl who moves to a new town. There's a series of disappearances happening in the, the next town over, and one of the narrators of this book is a ghost. 
And finally, for contemporaries, I would recommend basically anything by Rainbow Rowell. She's got four contemporaries. Landline and Attachments are her adult books, and Fangirl and Eleanor and Park are her contemporary YA novels. And I just, I like all of her books, and she writes standalone, so I would highly recommend her as well. Like I said, if you want to know more of my standalone recommendations, I have my shelf on Goodreads linked down below. I hope this long list has helped you find a book or two that maybe you would like to check out. Let me know down below if you have any standalone recommendations that you think I might like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!